Hi guys, so this week I am 21 weeks pregnant and the baby is the size of a large carrot. Um, not really the size of it, but I guess the length of a large carrot. I guess if you can imagine, um, you know, like horses, the kind of carrots you feed them, that's the length that the baby is right now. So getting bigger. This week, um, the baby's taste buds are starting to develop more and also um, the baby can start to taste different foods that I am eating. Um, it's starting to swallow um, amniotic fluid and things like that and so it can start to taste some of the things that I like to eat. Um, which is good or bad depending on what I'm eating, I suppose. I need to start laying off the junk food, but baby can start to taste things. Um, they do say if you want baby to be less of a picky eater to start eating uh, vegetables and things like that now so that baby can get used to it in the womb and then once it's born, um, they will be able to acclimate better. So that was kind of interesting. So symptoms this week. Um, I'm still feeling really great. Um, my biggest symptom I would say is I'm just hungry all the time. I'm constantly hungry, I'm constantly eating, which is great, but I'm worried that I'm gaining too much weight. Last week I weighed myself and I had gained, I think about seven pounds total. Um, and then this week I weighed myself and I had gained 13 pounds total. So within a week I gained six pounds. Granted it was Thanksgiving and I was eating a lot more, but I just, that worries me that I am wa gaining way too much weight right now. Um, they say I put my, you know, my weight and my starting weight and everything get to the uh, weight calculator that I found on a website and it said that I'm doing great and that I'm in the right range But I worry about gaining way too much. I'd rather gain it small, you know in a pound a week rather than six pounds all at once I mean, I'm already starting to see stretch marks underneath my boobs um, And so I've started to put some lotion on those I haven't seen any on my stomach yet but I have been putting lotion on it daily, so maybe that might be why. So I'm hoping if I put some lotion on my boobs, it'll either stop more stretch marks from happening or it will maybe make them go away. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm still kind of dealing with the pregnancy insomnia here and there. Um, I tend to wake up in the middle of the night at random times, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., um, and I can't fall back asleep. The other day I woke up and I think it was at 4 or 5 a.m. and I was just wide awake. I could have gone and started my day. Um, and so that can get a little frustrating, especially because I want to sleep. I know I should be sleeping, but I just can't do it. So um, that's been a little bit um, annoying to deal with. Um, I'm still in love with my pregnancy pillow. I went to go visit my parents uh, during Thanksgiving and I didn't bring my pregnancy pillow with me because I didn't want to haul the huge thing back and forth. So I just left it and I realize now how much I love my pregnancy pillow because before uh, when I didn't have it, um, every night or every morning morning I would wake up and my hips would be sore, um, my, my whole body would just be sore and uncomfortable. And last night I slept with my pregnancy pillow and it was so much better. I feel great. I feel so much better now. My nose has been really congested and stuffy and runny. I feel like I have a cold all the time. I'm not experiencing any swelling. Um, I am experiencing my belly growing a lot bigger. I mean, obviously, I guess since I gained six pounds in a week, uh, that would start to show up. So um, I officially am not able to wear any of my regular pants anymore. I have to wear my maternity pants. Um, I tried to put on my regular jeans so I could wash my maternity jeans the other day and it looked like the button on the jeans was going to come undone, like it was strained. So I'm not doing that anymore and I am on the uh, pregnancy uh, pants now. Uh, my shirts, like this is a regular shirt but it's really baggy. Um, I'm starting to make a pile of shirts that don't fit me anymore because my belly is just too big. Um, I did order some maternity clothes from Old Navy 
they were doing a 50% off sale for Black Friday. So I'm waiting for that to come into the mail. I also got a, um, <clears throat> a winter coat uh, that's a maternity style, uh, so it'll help me through these winter months. So I'm excited for that to come. My back is still really hurting. Um, when we drove uh, to go visit my family for Thanksgiving, um, it was about a two and a half hour drive and just sitting in uh, the seats in the car, my back was really, really hurting. Um, it's like I constantly need to have something propped behind me to make my back straighter or something like that. Um, so that's been uh, kind of harder to deal with. I'm still feeling baby kick. Um, baby is getting stronger by the day. Um, more active, more frequent, um, definitely more active after I've eaten a meal. So this week um, I and everybody else other than Anthony and my mom got to find out um, the gender of baby Denzel. Um, and so really quick, if you didn't comment on my last video, pause this video and write down in the comments below what gender you think baby Denzel is and then once you do once you have done that hit um, play on this video so we did a big gender reveal party it was really fun we had about 60 people come um, and uh, we had tons of decorations uh, blue and pink balloons um, blue and pink gumballs blue and pink candies it was really fun. We had a lot of fun decorating and getting the house all ready for the party. Um, I also took a bunch of the pictures that I have of Baby Denzel from 3D, 4D ultrasounds and from my anatomy scan and hung those around so people could look at as well. And then everyone who came to the gender reveal wore either blue if they thought it was a boy or a pink if they thought it was a girl. Um, and then we also had stickers just in case they didn't have anything blue or pink and they could show their uh, side uh, through a sticker. So um, we waited for everybody to show up and then we went outside. Um, and we had everybody hold a popper and inside the popper was confetti and it would be blue confetti if it was a boy and pink confetti if it was a girl. So I will include that clip right here. Okay. Okay, everybody. So Shannon and Anthony are having a baby and we are going to turn them. So everybody, I'll be a finger on it. Click one. Click two. Okay. <laughs> to the entire time. I have always since day one said it was a boy. Everybody else said girl, although a lot of people changed their minds at the last second and thought that baby Denzel would be a boy. Um, both my mother-in-law and my sister had dreams that the baby would be a boy and so they changed their minds and they were right. So baby is now a boy. I can now start calling him a he and all of that. Um, although I still catch myself regularly calling him an it because it's just, I've been calling him an it for 21 weeks now. So it's gonna be a little hard for me to break, um, but I'm trying. But we're very excited. Anthony is still really excited even though he wanted a girl. I told him, don't you worry, I want tons of kids. So we will have plenty of practice. Um, and you know he laughs um, but I'm so excited we got a lot of cute outfits um, for baby I'll show you some of them when I go get them 
Um, they are, little boys are so fun to dress up. Little girls are fun to dress up too, but um, little boys are so fun to dress up. And it's just so nice to know the gender. I can picture him now instead of it. Um, so it's really exciting. Everybody loved the confetti and the poppers. Um, and then we also had a cake and inside the cake was blue on the inside to reflect a boy as well. Now, of course, now that we know that the gender of our baby, now the number one question that we get is what name? What names are you thinking of? What name are you going to name the baby? So Anthony and I have absolutely not talked about this at all. We talked about it a little bit, you know, before you even got pregnant. And after we got pregnant, we were like, well, we'll just wait until we find out if it's a boy or a girl. Um, and now um, we just haven't even had time. We just had the gender reveal. So we're still taking some time to come up with some names. We have a lot of time. April seems so far away. Um, I will say right now, we like. I like the name Preston. I've always liked the name Preston. 